When you reach a certain age, functions such as sight, hearing, and memory begin to fade. This video is one of several I have created to help senior citizens use their computers to make up for these shortcomings. My name is Richard Spring, also known as the Senior Wizard. I hope this video will help you make your life a little easier. The name of this video is Sticky Notes. I'll show you how in the 21st century this is the equivalent of the old 3M post-it notes. In 1980, 3M released post-it notes which were small squares of yellow paper with a strip of low-tack repositionable adhesive on the back. How do I know all this technical information? Well, that was about the same time I was a shift supervisor at Avery Label. These post-it notes were released four years before Macintosh 128 was released and five years before Microsoft 1.0 was the first operating system for Bill Gates. They work real well to, even today on refrigerators, bathroom mirrors, keeping bookmarks and books, but they kind of get it in the way in today's computer monitors. So let's fast forward into the 21st century. On your Windows 10 desktop, go down to the taskbar, click on the search box, and type in sticky notes. Go to the top of the page and find the sticky notes. But before you click on it, right mouse click on it to open up a little menu. Then left mouse click on the option pin to start. I'll explain to you later why we need that. After you click on pin to start, then go up and click on sticky notes to open it up. Sticky notes will start loading on your desktop. And there you have a little yellow sticky note right in the middle of your desktop. You can now start typing in with your keyboard. Uh, in this case, pick up meds Tuesday at 1 p.m. And there you have a sticky note that will be on your desktop, just like the paper ones. If you left mouse click and hold on the top of the sticky note, you can drag it around and it is repositionable and stay where you place it. Now click on the three small dots up in the upper right hand corner and it will give you the option of changing the color. You can change it from yellow to green, you can change it to pink, purple, light blue, a white, and even a black colored. And we'll go back to the yellow. Click on the menu, then click on the notes list. That'll bring up a list of your current notes. Go up in the top right hand corner, click on that little gear for settings. Open it up and then come on. Down. You'll see a toggle switch for a option called Insights. Go ahead and turn Insights on. With Insights turned on and Notes, when you type in a note that contains a date, time, phone number, or an address, uh, Sticky Notes will use Microsoft to create an enhancement to that note using your virtual assistant, Cortana, on Windows 10. You can see your note now has become a link. Getting back to the settings, you can change the color of the sticky note from Windows default to dark to light and back to default again. Now, if you continue going down on the settings, you'll see that you'll have a sync button. You can sync your sticky notes from your computer to your tablet to your smartphone, but maybe we'll hold that off to a future video. Getting back to our sticky notes, 
with the link that we've created with Insights. If you click on that link, you'll see down below it says Add Reminder. If you click on that button, it opens up Cortana. Cortana is your virtual assistant that allows you to use your voice to perform many tasks such as searching the internet, adding messages, and setting reminders or tasks that you've indicated in your sticky notes. If you'd like to remove your sticky note from your desktop, just open the upper right hand corner and click the little close box. This doesn't delete your sticky notes, it just places them off the screen. If you want to get it back on the screen, click the Win key to open your Start menu, and there's where we place the sticky notes on the Start menu. Click on the Sticky Notes button, and it'll start opening up the sticky notes again. And there's our original sticky note. If you want an additional sticky note, upper left-hand corner, click the little plus sign, and it duplicates a new blank sticky note. Start typing in your second sticky note. In this case, we're going to check out the website at www.slyfoxpress.com. And you'll notice as we are typing it, it changes to a hot link. That's because Insights is turned on. If you need to move your sticky notes around on your desktop, just place your mouse on the upper edge, hold the left mouse down, click and hold and drag it around. You can virtually move it any place on the desk so it's out of your field of vision or what you're working on. Let's go back to that hot link. If you mouse click on that link, it opens up a box in the bottom called Open Link. Click on that box and it'll take you directly to your website. This is a real quick way of opening up a website that you check on frequently. Let's, let's go ahead and close this website for now and go back to our desktop. And let's go ahead and close these sticky notes up in the right hand corner. Just click the boxes. When they're closed, if you want to open them back up again, go down to your bottom, click on your win key, go over to your start menu, click on the sticky note button and it opens it back up again. Your sticky notes list will open up with all your sticky notes. You can move that around to wherever you want. If you're looking for a particular one you can search for it in the search box. But if you want to delete one just click on your sticky notes that you want to delete and go down to the delete. Click on delete and then confirm that you want to delete it and then it's gone permanently. Now you can close the sticky notes box and go back to your desktop and do whatever you were doing originally. I hope this video has helped you understand Windows 10 sticky notes and the features that it has and how you can drag the 1980s post-it notes into the 21st century. If you like these videos please subscribe my YouTube channel is free. Enjoy this video? Click on the like button below. Leave a comment below to help me improve. Or tell me what you'd like to see me in a future video. Remember, our generation invented the shake, rattle, and roll. Bye for now.